uh, uh, Michael Kabunga, chair for the Kamkon Walcon bid. Yeah, uh, um, it is nice to be here. And I'm here to, uh, first of all, let me talk about myself a, a little bit. I'm uh, an industrial artist, and um, but most of my time I've been working as a social worker, using art to, promote, to, to empower youth, women, and children. But let me use this time to put this proposal, the Campcon proposal, to host the Worldcon in Uganda, Kampala. I would like to host the Worldcon of the 2028, and it will be called the Campcon. Campcon. Let me share some slides here. Yes, you, you, can, you can see the slides? No, not yet. Hello? Not yet. If you share oh. your screen. Okay. Oh, a little bit of, uh, okay, okay, okay. Let me see if we can. Okay, let me go on with the presentation. Anyway, we would like to, to host the 2028 uh, Worldcon, and we would like to host it in Kampala, Uganda, at Speak Resort and Commonwealth Resort Munyonyo. This is a place in, uh, on the shores of Lake Victoria. It is 37 kilometers from the airport. The Entebbe International Airport is our main entry point. And it is just uh, in the suburbs of the capital, Kampala. This place is 12 kilometers from the city center, and it has 40, 477 accommodation rooms. Currently, uh, there is a structure going on for uh, it's a conversion center. It is a 4,000 seater conversion center that is being developed at the center. It is 90. 90 acres of land, of space, ample parking space. We have uh, around 13 uh, 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 conference rooms, large rooms currently. But there is a development that is going on that is going to host even other conventions like the NAM Summit in January to be ready. It is a 4,000 seater conversion center and we will have have extra rooms that will make it uh, like 30 uh, conference rooms, six um, much cuisine restaurants. Um, the, the, the number of developments that we are doing at the, at the center. So we would like to, uh, uh, our rates, our rates for, 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 for the airfare around from seven seven thousand dollars to one thousand from most of the city to to one thousand five hundred from most of the major cities. Um, uh, there are a lot of attractions in, in Kampala, Uganda, and uh, we have like the. Oh, we have a lot of attractions in Uganda, and we would be happy to be to, to host this world. Con. And we are making a number of uh, contacts with the uh, African con runners so that they can join the team. And we make it an African, uh, because it is the first of the East kind in Africa, we want to make it an African world. Con other than being just a Uganda Worldcon. So that is the vision of our Worldcon. We want to connect uh, African fiction to the rest of the world. And basically, yeah, another question that comes in so much is about the human rights part of it, about Uganda and the human rights. There are a number of things that are going on, uh, like the laws, now, like the homosexuality law, that one is under the 
it has been taken to court. Human rights activists are handling that, and I won't be talking so much about it. There are a number of checks here and there, human rights, but there is a lot of vigorancy about the human rights. Um, another thing is about the, the team. Yeah, we are building the team, and we have. We must accept we have little of the world corn and uh, uh, small corn uh, experience, but we have a lot of experience in conventional running, and we have a lot of people who are experienced in corn running, and we continue to invite also other conventional corn runners from Africa. Since this world corn is coming to Africa for the first time. We want to involve corn runners uh, in, in Africa, corn runners in Uganda, to, uh, to, to be part of this team and to also involve experienced world corn runners. And we are on a spray talking to everyone and inviting everyone to join the team so that we galvanize the home team with that experience. They can able, we, we have uh, a lot of uh, experience in uh, uh, skills, sp special skills like in uh, the legal, like uh, the, the learning skills because speak to resort and speak group that is uh, uh, our, our partners in this bid. They have a lot of experience. We have hosted a lot of conversions and not specifically the world con, but uh, assorted conversions. That gives us a, 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 a lot of experience in set skills for conversion running. But we, uh, with world con and small con uh, running, we still lack the manpower to galvanize this uh, the, the, the team. So, yes, we will be hosting uh, again uh, in. The same conversion center will be hosting the NAM Summit, NAM Allied Movement Summit in January. So we believe it will be, uh, uh, in, uh, it, will be uh, it will be ready. It will be also hosting the B77. Uganda will be hosting the, uh, together with the East African community in 2027, we will also be hosting the AFCON, Africa Cup of Nations. So we believe the facilities will be checked enough uh, like the movements of traffic, the facilities will be checked enough, they will be able to host the world con. And we want to give uh, the world the world con that has the African touch. Thank you. I welcome questions from everyone. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So we do have some questions. Um, uh, there were a couple of questions uh, that you've addressed to some degree about the size of the fan community and local conventions. Can you talk a little bit more about science fiction fan groups and science fiction conventions in Uganda? Okay. The number of uh, the, the, uh, the fiction in Africa uh, uh, the genre is uh, not is so much identified as science fiction, but the fiction we have uh, it is not at, at, at that level where it is uh, like identified as a science fiction sci-fi. There are some couple of uh, uh, organizations like the tribe culture. There, there are organizations the tribe culture. Which was the dig dig at feast, which is going on right now at the same time as Movecon, because it started on December first. The the a lot of uh, guys that also have uh, the, such groups, and then the national uh, national associations that take cre creatives together, they have this incorporated. So there's a lot of there are a lot of fans because if you look at the conception of the sci-fi and the fiction and fantasy, then there are, there are a lot of literary organizations like the Femme Right for the Women, 
they are doing a lot of work in science fiction, in, in, uh, in fiction and science fiction and fantasy and comic work. Uh, one of the people here wants to know, if I read your questionnaire correctly, you only have 703 rooms within walking distance of the convention. How will you prioritize these rooms? How will fans staying in overflow facilities be able to get to and from the convention at late night hours? And is there another hotel okay. nearby? The, 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 the 477 rooms, they're on site. They're on site within the, 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 the resort. Then there are overflow hotels that we intend to arrange. Uh, uh, because when you look at the question here, it gives us the st structure of the rooms and the distances. Uh, I, I would employ anyone to, because it is a table that we put up in Kampala, in Entebbe, and around even within the circumference of the hotel, we, we put that structure. So if someone could go to the question here, the, 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 the structure is there. We have put the structures of the rooms and the distance in a tabular form. Okay. So you're going to put it up in a table form. Well done. Thank you. Um, yeah. Yeah. So um, I know that you addressed this somewhat in your remarks, but I, uh, I'm telling you I'm getting a lot of questions about it. So I'm going to ask you to be more explicit. Um, we have gotten many questions yes. about the, particularly the treatment of LGBT and trans people in Uganda in light of the laws that you noted were under court challenge at the moment. I'd like you to speak further about what the convention's policies will be, um, including the possibility that um, uh, this is, um, that the court challenges may not succeed. So if there's anything you can say about this, that would be um, appreciated. You said the challenge. I, I, um, I, I, I have been, hear that question. Asked, sorry, I, I will let you respond in just a moment, but, but a, a, an objection has been taken to my question and I do appreciate that. Um, I, I do think that there is a, Uh, the 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 it has been said that this is a question that is unfair because it is too far from your convention to be asking this question. Uh, I appreciate the question, but I think that the statute in question has raised significant questions. He's already raised a response to it, and I want to give him a chance. I'm sorry. I... You may uh, respond. I, I, request a, I, I, I request something. I, I request I say something about this, uh, the human race, because it's very vital. For any other convention, uh, safety is fast. Safety is fast. So we are doing a lot of things to mitigate, uh, and the planning community is uh, working to see that at least we get acknowledgments of each uh, stakeholder in this uh, section so that we meet, get any e events. And statistics will guide us. Statistics will guide us to the running of the convention and will be very fair to give accurate information that the situation is this. But uh, currently, we have no challenges. Like the law is there, it has been taken into court. But then even the statistics don't point to that, don't point to any challenges that can stop the world going to be uh, hosted here. So, but we'll be informed by the statistic, statistics by then. We'll be able to give accurate information by filing. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yep. Do we have any other questions? No, I think that's it. Um, well, I'll any I'll other questions? This oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, uh, our standard questions, um, do you at this point know whether you will be offering any sort of hybrid or virtual aspect for your programming for people who cannot attend in person? Oh, yes. 
hybrid is high on the priority, uh, high in the planning priorities. Uh, I, I must say there is no way you can do away with the hybrid uh, these days because if we are all attending in the, in the same way, we have, must give other people a chance. It, it is high on the planning and we are considering it. Okay. And um, where are you on social media? Are you on uh, Twitter? Uh, do you plan to stay on it? Are you going to be on Blue Sky Mastodon? Do you have any social media presence that you'd like to tell us about? Yeah, we, we are on X and we are on uh, Facebook. But uh, we haven't been so vigilant on uh, these spaces. We are still training our teams to how to handle yeah, many things that come come up. So uh, well, currently we are um, we are we are upgrading our website, and we will be able to put all these spaces up there, and they will be accessible. Uh, as there are no further questions, Michael, thank you for getting up in the middle of the night, and uh, we look forward to hearing more from you in, in the future. Thank you for taking your questions. You 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 are welcome. Thank you.